Okay, the idea of story, the way that we connect process management and architecture is with through story. So what do we mean by story? Well, most enterprise architecture talks about structure. So here's the structure. What is it? It's, well, it's about one kilometer long, and it's a structure. Gosh. It's a structure. It doesn't tell us what it's about. What we need is the story. It's, as they say, and be nice, come on over. It's a party. <laughs> now, if you think about endurance and courage, try wearing that in front of 100,000 people and dancing on those heels for six hours. And that's endurance and courage. Also, you can't get out of it, so you can't go to the toilet. Huh? Anyway, um, it's a citywide party, so everyone is involved. There's a big story. But when it's all over, there's other processes as well. If we think of the company as being the enterprise, there's no reason for anyone to talk with us. So the first enterprise we look at is the supply chain. This is where most of your processes start. But the processes themselves exist within a market space. All the regulators, the customers, the competitors, all of those. And the story, the big picture, is further out. It's where you get anti-clients, the people who really don't like the way that you're engaged in the story. The idea of purpose. When we talk about business purpose, all of your processes have a purpose. Otherwise, why are you doing them? Often you wonder why. Right, anyway, so to continue. When we look at an organisation, an organisation someone is legally responsible for paying the bills, for paying the tax. But an enterprise is a story. The moment you talk about carnival, the moment you talk about, I'm trying to think of anything in Portugal and stuff, um, sorry, um, yeah, a, in Porto, one of the big carnivals out that way. Yeah, all of those kind of stories that happen, the big picture. The moment you think of it, you're now in that story. And there's a feeling and engagement. The feeling is what drives people to be involved in processes. So this is a difficult point about English. Unfortunately, about values and value. The vision, the story, brings out, tells us the things that tell us what success is. Yeah? Those are the things that we value. But we exchange different types of value from one service to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. Hey, hey, this is not giving you the service. We can then break it apart a bit. We can give a bit more detail. You've never heard of service from decomposition, have you? Gosh, yes, I'm, I'm being silly, don't worry. Um, it never happens, I'm never silly. Um, when we look at it, the bits that we do, then the bits that we talk with other people coming in, the bits that we talk with people going out, and we also have what happens before, what happens during a transaction, what happens after, such as getting paid, which happens sometimes. Then we can make things across in a supply chain or a web. Keep them on track, we then have the things that they call management, sorry. Um, but also coordination, how do we connect things together, which is between the silos, not in them. And then we've also got things like auditing, all the quality assessment, all the, all the um, financial auditing, and so on. Someone has to do that, and that's outside of our organisation very often. So we can look at it in that sense. But on the other side, we can look at it in terms of what support do we need, which often we call investment. But for example, your families are investing in your being in the company. Different, your children are investing in the work that you do. It's a different kind of investment. It's not money, but it's investment. Because they do expect a return. Structure, that's a good example. This is one we did in the Australia Post, for a modified version of it. An, an artifact, it's a um, capability model that all of the business grabbed off us. 